In this video, I'm going to show you guys my everyday stretching routine to get as flexible as possible, as fast as possible, and as safe as possible. Now, I love fitness. I love building muscle. I love losing fat. I love the whole process of going to the gym and training hard. But I also love dancing. And the reason why I got into fitness in the first place was because I wanted to get stronger so I could do more breakdance moves like hands, handstands, front handsprings, back handsprings, all that kind of stuff. And obviously, as I got older, I sort of lost touch with that. But my New Year's resolution was to really get back into it, really get as flexible as I can, like I used to be before. And just a heads up, I was always flexible and all my life I've been somewhat flexible. I was always able to do the front splits when I was younger. But I honestly think that everyone, no matter who you are, no matter what your background, if you stretch every single day, if you put in the time, put in the effort, you can get flexible, you can do the splits. I think everyone can do the front splits. So since I train six days a week, I make sure that I'm stretching after every workout session. I start off with around 10 to 15 leg kicks. Um, I don't actually know what it's called. I just call it leg kicks and around 10 to 15 each leg. And I do the same thing um, sideways, so side leg kicks or raises, whatever you want to call it. I always take my shoes off when I do this. I just find it more comfortable. I start off with lunges with my toes on the ground, if you can see. They are stretched along the ground and I try to make sure that I'm as upright as I can. Sometimes you feel like you want to bend down, you want to lean forward, but try to stay as upright as you can. Now, this stretch is one of my favorite stretches. This stretches out my hamstrings, my legs, my glutes. Standing straight, your legs straight, and you're putting your arm, your palms on the ground in front of you with your legs straight without bending your knees. Next, I did some foam rolling because since I'm stretching every single day, um, sometimes my glutes, my hamstrings feels tight, especially my left one because I feel more comfortable going into um, my left front split. So my left leg is in front. And since most of the pressure is on my left glutes, left hamstrings, I can, it does feel tight every now and then. So foam rolling is a really good way to ease that tension up. And I think it, you should make it a part of your stretching routine. Um, foam roll at least a few times a week. I would say three to four times a week. I don't foam roll every single day. Some days I don't feel that tightness. But on the days that I do feel the tightness, I make sure that I foam roll and I feel so much better after. Just make sure you're not going too hard on foam rolling and you're still feeling fine. It shouldn't hurt, it should feel, you should feel relieved. Um, you should feel that tightness ease up a little bit. Also, you should get a foam roll if you don't have one. It's like five, ten dollars from your local um, store. And after I did the foam rolling, it was, I did some basic stretches. Um, I don't spend too much time stretching, but I do like to, go through all my stretches but I don't spend too much time on each stretch I just want to loosen my legs up and I want to go into the splits straight away once I feel comfortable and ready enough to get into the splits that's when I'll sort of um, start getting into it so as you can see this is my first set of splits training I just sort of wanted to see how it was going to feel um, in my splits so I did around 30 seconds on each leg now this part is really important so I actually learned this technique from Juji Mufu who is an amazing bodybuilder who is insanely flexible I've been watching his videos for a very long time he's extremely knowledgeable so if you want to get into this kind of lifestyle even more stretching tricking doing stunts and all that kind of stuff definitely check out Juji Mufu he even has a book about it and he is really knowledgeable on this topic and he helped me out a lot when it comes to flexibility training and learning how to do the splits so pretty much what he says is how he trains his splits is hold your splits position for about a minute to a minute and a half and then the most important thing more than the stretching itself is the rest 
the rest period is so important. So I always time myself. So I, I hold my splits for about a minute to a minute and a half. The most important thing, like I was saying, is rest. You want to rest. You want to rest for five minutes. Time you put a timer on your phone and make sure you get up, go for a walk. That's what, as you can see, that's what I'm doing now. I'm just walking around, waiting until the five minutes is over, and then I'll get back into it. And what this does is it sort of just primes your body. It like you're putting your body in such a weird position, and it it needs some time to sort of like understand what's going on your nervous system everything so giving your body five minutes just to recoup itself it helps you so much because next time your next set you will be able to go a bit deeper as you can see the next set i was able to go a bit deeper i held that for about a minute to a minute and a half and then i rested for five minutes i just go for a walk i breathe and i sort of just relax myself i sort of try to get myself ready for the next set so i do this about three to four times so three to four sets in total um, i do this every single day without any excuse i do this every single day because i'm so dedicated to becoming really flexible and if i miss even just one day of training my splits i know that i am screwed and i will lose my flexibility so wherever I can, I make sure that I am able to do at least 15 minutes of stretching just to get my body used to it every single day. So ideally for me, by the time I get to my third or fourth set, I am almost able to do the full splits and I am at my um, most stretched out. And that's when I hold that position for a minute and a half and the next day I can go deeper and the next day I can go even deeper. So eventually I should be able to hit the full complete splits. But as you can see in this video, I am pretty close already. I just need to focus on holding that position. Um, it hurts a lot and it's going to feel really weird. Just have that in the back of your head, especially as a guy. I don't know how it feels for a girl, but as a guy, it's such a weird feeling getting into the splits position. And just that pain that you feel, it's so indescribable. You don't know how to describe it. It's just, I've, I've never felt that pain before. It's, you just want to, you just want to just cry. Honestly, that's what it feels like. But after you stretch, after you get up, it's the best feeling. You feel like you're going to cry for a few seconds after you stretch, uh, while you're stretching. Just, you're in so much pain and it's such a weird feeling because you don't feel pain anywhere, but once you stop doing the splits, you feel all that pain just come in, but it only lasts for a few seconds and after that you feel so good. Another technique that I've started incorporating is called PNF training, which is pretty much when you're in that splits position, when you're as far down as you can go and you can't go any further, you want to sort of tense your leg muscles and try to push down against the ground and it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt like anything, but you tense you hold it there for a few seconds and you relax and you can go just a little bit deeper. And it sounds really painful. It is painful, but it works. And the more that you tense, the more you train that muscle, that the more you uh, tense and release, tense and release, the deeper that you can go, the stronger your splits are, the better that you can hold a splits. So PNF technique is definitely something that I want to incorporate a lot more in the future and make sure you drink a lot of water i one thing that i've started doing a lot more of is drinking a ton of water and it just keeps me going i don't feel dehydrated i don't feel tired when i'm stretching even after training i feel really good so try this out make sure you stretch every single day i think stretching should be part of everyone's training routine because not just if you want to dance, I don't, I don't, not everyone wants to dance, but even just for like sports training, even for basic mobility, for everyday tasks, being flexible is honestly such a flex because flexibility is something that you can't cheat. You have to work through it. You have to work hard. And it's only if you put in the time and effort, you get flexible. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. 
And if you want to see more videos like this, more training videos, more flexibility videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Thank you guys so much for watching this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.